It's a big old trout, dude. I thought it was. Golly! We're gonna start off in here. You see where you see all the shallow stuff where those birds are, are sitting. Yeah. We're gonna work our way down that way. Okay. You know, cast several times. Okay. Just try to cover cover water. All right. They're not making any big movements just yet, but yeah. we'll just do some blind casting for now. Good trout. Real nice trout. Let's make a little small move. We're going to go right across this channel. Beautiful morning. It's a little chilly. Should have brought my jacket. I don't know why I keep doing that. Well, I don't need it. <laughs> Until the wind hits. So we're going to do the same thing along this shoreline. We'll start off tight with the shore. Let the wind push us out a little ways. Okay. And then we'll go back up and move down a little and cover a new drift, you know? Gotcha. There's a bunch of bait in here. It's going to get shallow too. Oh, I got a Big trout. It's a big old trout, dude. I thought it was. Golly! That's red. No, it's a big trout. Huh? Big trout. Golly. Ugh. <laughs> Dang it! That's a big old trout, man. Golly, dude. Hey. <laughs> Take a look at that. It's all caught up in the net. Dang. <laughs> Yeah. When's the last time you caught that? Uh, it ain't all that often. Yeah. 20, 26. Huh? 26. I guess the spawn is on, huh? <laughs> Have you tried the gulp yet? Have you been watching me how I'm working it? I can show you. Yeah. I can show you what's working for me and it works for me. It works for me 90% of the time. Okay, let's see. Watch the rod tip, keep it high. Yeah. And just bump. Okay. So it's like a topwater lure, but under the surface. 
or you're working it like a top water lure Thinking? it's close but your rod tip's not high enough there you go yeah right there okay. and it's real short twitches yeah. every time you twitch the rod tip up you're putting it back down okay. up back down up and back down Okay. and what it's doing it's making that lure you know hop up and down like this mm -hmm. and that that's what works for me 90 percent of the time sometimes i have to slow it down a little bit but i usually don't do that unless i'm sight casting and i know how they're reacting to it when i'm blind casting i'm usually working it pretty fast it's just real short twitches Oh, there's a tail. What's uh Roger? Come over here. I'm gonna try to put him on a fish. It's we just been blind casting, but there's a redfish tail right ahead. Right in front of me. About 20 feet off of that bulkhead. No, but he's still there somewhere. You just get right in front of me and then I'll move out of the way. I want you to cast in there and try to get him. You went with the, with the goat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was a little closer to the shore. Okay. But you can cover that whole area because he, he may have moved a little bit. It's going to be shallow, so you'll have to reel it in kind of fast. And as you're reeling it, pop it too. You see all that movement a little ahead? Past your lure? There's more on down the way. Just keep yourself tight with this shoreline. And, uh, you know, cast 10 or 15 times. And then move down the shore about 50 feet and do it again. And there'll be more. I'll just stay out here in the open a little bit. They seem to mostly be up tight you know kind of close to the shore <laughs> I guess there's some out here a little ways too <laughs> Nice red. Good slot red. You see all the bait moving down there a little ways? Yeah. All those ripples? Uh -huh. let's, let's keep working our way down that way a little bit. Uh, yeah, they don't last long. I've already switched probably, that's my fourth gulp. <laughs> they tear up easy, but they catch fish, so. Come out here a little bit, Roger. Yeah. 
If you want to try it, yeah, I don't care. If you want to try to fly, it's okay. Oh, okay. But it's still, it's still dragging the bottom. It's still scratching the grass. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to uh, try with some shrimp? No. No? That's giving up. <laughs> That's giving up. <laughs> okay. I could put you on drum and reds probably for sure with the shrimp. I'd rather, I'd rather cast to them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. Five, you know, do it yeah. No, that's fine. If you want to keep using the lures, I'm I'm surprised I'm having hooked up, but Yeah. Kind of weird, but. <laughs> yeah, we can keep working the lures in. There you go, man. <laughs> Nice trout. That ship going pretty fast, man. I hope he don't wake us out. <laughs> I assume the waves will break on the flat ahead of us before they get to us. They usually don't. Oh, you got another one? A flounder? All right, man. It. Yeah. It's because of that ship. Okay. Yeah. Hurry up and get out of here, we're gonna fish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He got a job to do. I, I, I'm, I'm on their water, man. I don't own, I don't own it for sure. Man, that current's spooky. You can feel yourself being <laughs> pushed around like a little rag doll. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a good, pretty good trout, I think. Yeah. Nice trout. Pretty nice. Ain't nothing wrong with that right there, boy. Pretty fish. 